Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the new Jelly Belly Boba Milk Tea Jelly Beans. These were $7.99 at World Market. We've there, had some Boba Milk Tea. Yes. In the cans. There are five flavors in here. You get Mango Milk Tea, Taro Milk Tea, Matcha, Strawberry, and Thai. Mm. It says, Calling All Boba Tea Fans. The perfect flavor balance of tea, yummy tapioca balls, and sweetness. Boba milk tea jelly beans from Jelly Belly are available in five creamy flavors. Um, for five creamy flavors, boba milk tea fans will love. They're a great way to enjoy your favorite bubble tea flavors without the straw. Um, these are made in the USA, manufactured in Fairfield, California. It says they're dairy-free, gluten-free, peanut-free, four servings uh, in the container, 27 pieces, 30 grams or 110 calories. That's not bad. So. Is one of them taro, did you say? Yes. So we had taro in um, Hawaii. Okay. It doesn't have, really have much flavor, honestly. So you open it up. And it's very nicely. I like it that they put the little plastic thing on there. It keeps it from okay. shifting around and I mixing say. up. Yes, that's very nice. <coughs> and I really, we yeah, yeah, we don't need a plate at all. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, we don't need it. We turn right, turn around. Right yeah. Okay. So, do you want to go in order? We can just go forward. Yeah. Okay. This is the mango. Good. Usually, Jolly Belly are strong enough to where you only need one. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. It tastes like mango, but it's not like all mango. It's not like a punch in the face mango. It's like a, a nice, sweet, melony kind of flavor. I like that. I agree. It's not mm. the um, it's not the kind of Jelly Belly like when you go to one of the stores that sell that have the display of Jelly Bellies like in the the cylinders on the wall. You could have a whole bag of just that partic mm. of a particular flavor. It's not the type of flavor that I would want a whole bag of, but yeah. I wouldn't mind if mixed they in. mixed in. I wouldn't mind one here and there because it is a mango, but it's a very it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. But then again, the flavor that's left in your mouth, and there's just a little bit of like a like a no tangy kind of thing. yeah to to it. Not bad, but I just wouldn't want a whole bag. I don't know if it's milk tea necessarily or the boba part, but it's just a really sweet mango. So this one is taro. Was this the donut that you and Ashley ate? Mm -hmm. The purple one. Mm-hmm. And you both really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Taro itself, though, if you just eat it by itself, it really doesn't have much flavor. To me, it tastes like tea. They mash it up. Well, that's, that makes sense. They mash it up. It's really more of a filler and a, and a nutritional thing, not a... Not a flavor thing. To me, that literally tastes like it's very nice. Ice, like, a, like like iced tea. Like it's a light flavor. Louisiana iced tea. It's a light flavor. Though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little lighter than a lot of Jelly Bellies are, because uh, most of the time Jelly Bellies are really really strong flavor. These are mm -hmm. kind of light, or that one was. Yeah. If somebody asked it's me I was, if I was blindfolded, the iced tea. Yeah. Okay. This one is the matcha. Ooh. Grass. You know, though. It's not as earthy as some, but. And there's a bit of floral there. Yeah, that's what I wouldn't choose necessarily. It's not bad. That flavor has actually grown on me over the years since we've been trying them. Mm -hmm. It's still very earthy, grassy kind of flavor. That, a lot of times matcha is just, yes, it is just green grass. That is kind of earthy, though, mixed with a floral. Mm -hmm. and, and then you get a little bit of that tea flavor, too. Yes, you do get tea. And honestly, on the back side of it, that's what I'm getting is a sweet tea. Yeah, that's what I end up with. So I don't mind the flavor that's left over in my mouth mm -hmm. right now because it's sweet tea. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's so, probably the strongest tea flavor we've had. Yes, it's much sweeter than the tarot. Yeah. Uh, okay, strawberry. Yeah, this would be interesting.
I wonder if you had their regular strawberry in this side by side. I was thinking the same thing. Would you and really you be able to tell, the, tell difference? the difference? I don't know. Um, we can't buy a whole pack of. Yeah, I'm not going to buy a mixed beans. package. Well, and you usually it's it's 40 different flavors, and you, never you, get... you would have to figure out which one was the strawberry. Yeah, and it'd like. be for the only strawberry that would even um, have flavor you get. It's good. I like it. I don't know where the bubble tea part comes in, but I don't either. I don't. I could not. I can't tell you the difference between this one and their other strawberry because I haven't had their other strawberry. There might be a time. slight tea flavor in that. Strawberry. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. At, on the end, it's not as strong as the matcha, but it's like a strawberry tea. So that's the mm -hmm. difference. That's yeah. the whole difference. It's literally it's, it's, it ends on a tea note. Yeah, thing. it's strawberry tea instead of just sweet strawberry. Yeah. Okay, so the last one is Thai milk tea. I'm getting a fat one. Ew. Don't like that one. You don't? No, really. It's also very earthy. I don't know why. It's earthy in a, in a truffle mushroom um, kind of way. See, it, it has a... I don't like it. To me, it has a hint of a coconut flavor in there. I can see the coconut a little bit. Yeah, it's like a, a, a hint of coconut. But you know, coconut can be kind of earthy too. If it's just raw coconut, right. that can be kind of earthy. To me, too. it's it's a mixture of like uh, a little coconut and tea. Yeah. But you know what? That's what all of these have in common is they do they genuinely butter. all taste like tea. Yeah. I don't know if they're boba tea, but they taste like tea. Tea. It just tastes like iced tea. Yeah. Like I said, Luzigan iced tea. That's what it tastes like to me. Yeah. Iced tea. I think the strongest tea tea flavor is the matcha. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And the taro, the taro ended in a tea flavor as well. Yes, but they definitely all have that. So you need to like tea, whether yeah. you like hot tea, iced tea, however you drink it. You need to like that because that's the base flavor of all of these. Mm -hmm. Um, I do have to say, the mango flavor covered it up the most. Yeah, it did. Because... Well, and the Thai one did too, because I didn't really get it a lot with the last one either. Mm -hmm. But I think these are nice. Yeah. They're different. They're different. Um, I love the packaging. I love how nice and orderly it is. And then you can put this right back on there and store it again. Um, this would make a good gift for yeah. if you know somebody who's a tea lover. Yeah, if they drink a lot of that bubble tea stuff, then mm -hmm. uh, get it for them and just for the fun of it. Yeah, it because this is something different and, <laughs> and something that they they might not know this is out. So right. this would be unexpected for them. Uh, but let us know if you get to try these. I'm sure they will have these. You know, you see them in the, the hanging packages, uh, yeah. the displays. The yeah, I'm sure you'll see these in other stores. World Market's just the first place we saw it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.